Welcome back, folks. What to do today? I've got two options in mind right now. One is working on a farm and two is working on resources. I imagine in order to work on the farm, I am going to need resources. So if I want to make this bad boy bigger, if I want to grow our plot size, I'm going to need various different things in order to do so. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to get machinery that can get better resources so that I'm not running backwards and forwards with our little milk float over there. So what do we want? So I want to kind of, I want to at least automate something. So let's start with the watering. Now, if we're going to automate the watering, I know that we need a water pump, which is level two metal. We also need a water container, which is more glue. So we can do the glue. That's easy enough. And yeah, level two metal. In order to get level two metal, we're going to need some embers. So I think we're going to be resource hunting today. We will be going away away and we will be looking at four some embers um so we'll just go grab us some glue and then uh we'll go back to the craft get the embers from the craft because we know that they are there and then we'll do the do also i have noticed that watching on various devices the night time is really difficult to see for you guys viewing so any time that night comes in i'm just going to be doing a lot of gathering off camera i imagine or at least nothing nothing too exciting is going to be happening during the nighttime hours so for anybody who wants to know when that is that will be 8 p.m until 4 a.m so there'll be very little nighttime footage i will get around the whole raid thing with that by basically i'll surround my farm with lights so you can see what's going on but until i watch back on yeah especially mobile i didn't realize how dark it was so we'll try and sort that out there's very little nighttime footage for you guys to miss out anything on so we'll grab us some glue we only need six pieces because we need two glue so we've got some glue and then like i say we'll jump in our little milk float and we'll we head off to the spaceship and we'll get ourselves some embers i uh, might have a little look around as well to see if we can find any more embers anywhere because let's face it if i'm going to be building a lot of stuff with metal i am going to be needing those i also need a vacuum pump don't i in order to fill my chest of water. Okay, I didn't see how much that was. I think that's glass and glue again. Isn't it? So we'll get all that stuff sorted out first. And yeah, then we'll expand our little farm. And see where we get to. So let's just jog our memory while we're here. We'll set the glue off building. We do need a pump. So we do need level 2 metal. So we need embers for that. Water container we can build once the glue is sorted. Awesome stuff. And we need a vacuum pump. Wow. So the vacuum pump takes circuit boards. I didn't realize that. The water pump does not. Okay, cool. Drop off our glue in here. And we'll get building the water container. And that can do its due. Right. We'll just hop into the little milk float. Awesome little thing that it is. We'll burn our way over to starting craft. Jump in our little ember field. Harvest the ember field up. Bring us back some goodies. Ooh, a chest. Loving the component kits at the minute, but that's always good. But I'm thinking as well, if we, if we can get a drill, that'll help us out, definitely. Ooh, more soil, more fuel, good, good, good. How's the inventory looking? Pretty empty, awesome. I've got a switch in the inventory as well. That's cool. We're going to need that for the vacuum pump. I don't see an awful lot of embers. There's not many embers close by anyway, at least not visible. I suppose the other alternative would be to go to a real high building and see if we can see anything over the top of it. Usually you can see a glow when there's an ember field. But uh, I don't really be able to see anything right now. It's slightly a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. We don't know if these guys respawn here. I know in one of the updates, they kind of tweaked a few things around the starting location. One of them was allegedly the respawn of crates, which is disappointing because the starting location used to be the best place to come for loot. But now sadly, after they've tweaked it, not so much. We'll just get ourselves in deep all this stuff so we don't have to run around too much. Okay. Let's go get us some embers. Blue crate down there as well. We'll grab that. I'm just thinking if we get most of the embers around the ship, then that should see us through for a little bit. Means we also won't have anywhere to go for embers until we find somewhere new, but that doesn't matter. We shouldn't use all of these embers straight away. 
can still put out the fires around here if you really wanted to. Nice, four. I'm not too fussed. I don't intend on spending too much time around here. But don't forget these trees as well. A lot of people might not know it, but these trees will also give you embers. If it's a full tree and it's charcoaled up like this, it will give you an ember. If it's like a little trunk like this, this won't. Or if it's a little trunk like this, this won't either. You're not going to be able to destroy this. But those big full grown trees, like that one down there as well. In the distance, we can get embers from that. Okay, so we'll just get these three. And we'll just jump back in the truck and we'll go for a little exploration drive on the way back. We need to see if we can find some ember fields. They are quite important. I know it's pretty uneven going down here. Rock. Oh, rock and roll. Not too bad. We just pick them up and them on the lift. There we go. I've also got to be mindful of what we're spending our component kits on as well because sometimes they are difficult to come by. I know I had a good night in the last episode or whenever it was and we were able to get a lot of component kits so that was handy. But for now, I can't guarantee that's going to be every night so we'll just be mindful of what we're spending on. Not go too crazy. That's why I'm only trying to Limit my spending to the bare minimum and what I actually need. Once we're sorted with what we actually need, then we'll start getting a bit crazy and building some mad elaborate things that'll do all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things. I don't see any more ember fields around. There's nothing really visible from the top of the hill. We'll just go shooting down here. We'll take a left up here. Go back to... Remember that building that we were at? Where we had that massive battle with all the farm bots? We'll go to that kind of area. Because I'm sure there must be an ember field around there. There has to be. There was so much other stuff. There just has to be. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go get all these legs. The sun is slowly setting, so uh, obviously that means that you guys aren't going to be able to see an awful lot. But I'll keep driving. I'll follow the road round through the night and see what we end up with. And hopefully... Oh, there's one over there. Look, right on the end. Can you see it just in front of me now? See all the trees there? What a great find just as the night comes in. So that helped me out. I'll just puddle over there during the night and I will just harvest all or a lot of these embers over here. And I will catch you guys in the morning. Let's go. morning it might still be a little bit dark but the sun will start rising soon don't worry too much about things we haven't completely filled our inventory but we've got quite enough and i was thinking as i was doing this we're going to be really really tight on space so i'm going to have to be building a few more chests when we get back so we'll see how that goes uh, see what component parts and whatnot we've got for that kind of want to get the water system up first before spending too many reese Ooh. Hello. Now usually there's a hay bar around. Bonjour. He is making noise. I didn't think he was making much noise. There we go. Okay, so we, at least we know where there's a, a spawn for cage farmers now. Which is also good. So we'll find ourselves back to our vehicle. We'll head off home. And we'll deposit the embers. And we'll get the level 2 metal on the go. Now I've got to think about this. Because metal takes water as well. 
And I can go about that two ways, can't I? I can either use a water bucket to craft it, or I get the vacuum pump first, because we've already made the... Oh. We're out of fuel. But yeah, so if I get the vacuum pump first, because we've already made the water tub bucket thing. So if I get the vacuum pump next, at least then I'll be able to pump those water containers so that then I can make any extra metals or anything else that needs them. That might be the way to go. We'll have a look, see how much it actually costs us. But I think that might be the smart move. I don't know. That might be an idea. Um, I've also had a bit of a, a thought, and I don't know how it's going to work. Say if we get the water system set up and we get a cannon. Okay, that's, that's cool. How are we firing the cannon across the fields? Because so far, there's no way I'm moving it. And everything's going to start getting really, really costly. And all I wanted to do was just water a simple 9x9 nine nine plot to start with. But that might be a little bit tricky. Unless, if I put it on a piston, I can move it across. And then I kind of got to press a button or something in the meantime. I'll have a look, see. I'll have a look at what the costs are for the buttons and the um, sensors. Because the sensor will be great. The sensor will be fine if we can actually afford it. Yeah, I don't want to be spending too many resources. But saying that, a sensor would be handy anyway because it would be something that we use all the time. So that would actually be a decent spend. Uh, I don't know. We'll have a look, see what happens when we get back. Have a look at all the resources and all the component kits especially. And see what we need to go out and farm because we're going to be short of a few things. There's no two ways about it. So we'll have to see what we need and go from there, I guess. It's the only thing we can do. So just swing this in here. My driving is pretty appalling, not going to lie. Squeeze him in the side. There we go. Back him up so he's against the machine. Now get on and do what he's doing. He's still making this. This render distance is really bad. So anyway, what are we saying? Component kits. So we've got actually quite, we've got quite a lot of component kits actually, but 22 component kits. We want a vacuum pump first, don't we? Vacuum pump first. So we need some more beeswaxy honey stuff. And we need level 2 blocks. We can do metal. Level 2. How many did we need? Was it just 10? Was it just 10? It was just 10. So we can do that. So we'll set them up. While they're doing that, we'll go get us some these waxy honey stuff. Which I'm pretty sure we've got a rock just behind. On this rock, maybe? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, had the little hole up there that I wondered how I was going to get up. And I just walked up. Yes. So we can squeeze up here, get us some of this bad boys. <gasps> nope. There we go. So that'll help us with that. So we can go and get our vacuum pump sorted now, which will give us more water, which will help us get our level two metal, which will be absolutely fantastic. Okay, cool. Another chest would be handy, I guess. But while that's doing that, a water pump. That is also just 10 metal. Okay, cool. And then a sensor. How much was a sensor? Oh, a sensor doesn't even take any component kits. That's awesome. It does take glue, so we'll have to go swimming for some glue again. Ooh, I didn't realize how short we were on electronics. I've only got three. It's not good. Okay, so we'll leave the embers behind as much as we can. Anyway, so that's us empty. We've got our switch. Do we have any block to build with? I don't have any block to build with, so we'll take some wood. We've got quite a bit of that. So we've got our wood, we've got our switch, we've got our water container thingy probably, and then all we need is for the vacuum pump to finish. We'll have the vacuum pump. We'll go deep sea diving when we're back at the farm. Because I put this right by the farm, so we'll go over and then we'll go swim in. We'll get some glue. Okay, okay, okay. Think, 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 think. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to go about this at all. We'll harvest these while we're over here. We'll plant some more. Let's plant some carrots. Whack some carrots in. Oh, don't have enough. One more bit of beetroot, maybe? There we go. So... Hmm.
Yep, so that should get it. We need that, and we'll need that. Water container. Plop it on top. Switch that so it's drawing in. Put a switch down. You can put the switch on the box, can't you? Yeah, you can You can put it anywhere, actually. I just prefer to put it on the wood. And we're going to connect it up. And that automatically connects into there for a change. That's cool. Right. So that has got us water, to a degree anyway. Um, how we're going to go about watering this, though? Not entirely sure. There we go. Right, so let that fill up. We'll go get us some glue if we can find any more clams. Hopefully they've respawned by now. But we'll get us some glue and glue will allow us to build something. Okay, I don't really know where we're going to go with this though. Because we need a lot more electronics. We'll go hunting for electronics in the buildings around the base. That'll make a lot of sense. If we can get those, then that gives us options. We also need a chest. Okay, so it's a case of prioritizing where we're trying to go next. So while we're here, we'll go into this thing, have a look around. Uh, yeah, we've got the room. Let's go see if we can't tickle a few people up. Nobody here. It's too quiet. There's nobody here. No. Okay, that's put end to that idea. I'll do that big building on the hill. I don't think I've done that one yet. So we're going to be really grinding for stuff here, actually, because we're going to need a few things to enable us to water. Right, let's just sit and think about this. I need more electronics, so I need to go raid a building. Electronics will give me various different ways and means to do the farm. Okay. Right, we'll go building raiding. That'll take a while. We'll go building raiding. Go and knock a few doors in. Oh, what am I doing? I'm carrying a load of control, uh, electronic kits with me. Okay, that makes things a little bit easier. Should have done that chest now. But we do need metal and everything anyway. So, we'll go raid some buildings. See what we can find. One of these buildings I've not done yet, I don't think. And I can't remember which one it was. I think it's that massive tall one over there with the two little silos on top. We'll bust in there and we'll get a bit more stuff. And then we'll see if we can't automate our watering system at the back of whatever we find. I'm thinking if we go piston and sensor and then just put everything in a straight line to start with then we only need two things and should oh, but, uh, hay bot rather it should be quite manageable oh there's a couple of them okay there's a third one up there there's got one up here one here and one there for now okay <laughs> So I know a lot of people go on about if you run backwards, the bot won't hit you. But I'm kind of feeling if you kind of run backwards and left, they seem to be able to hit you even less. So if I run this way around, in the direction of his swinging arm, he kind of swings past me. So all I'm doing there is pressing backwards and left and then just kind of keeping him in front of me with my view. And they don't seem to be able to hit us, which is pretty cool. Um, sun is setting. So I will try and raid this thing. Oh, there's two. There's two. There's two. There's three. Uh-oh. Okay, so back left, back left, back left. Come on. It's working. Oh, he's hit me there. Wait, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He hadn't hit me. Where's the other? Somebody's missing. There's only two legs. Let's see if this helps. I hold this up. Does this help you guys? There's another one somewhere. I can hear him. There he is. That was easy enough. So we'll try and do this tonight. And see what we can see. See what we can get. Looking... Pretty poor so far. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Let's go in here. Chest. We've got glass and beetroot. Okay. I was expecting more. No, 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 no. Come on. We were victorious. 
I was expecting a few more crates in here, not going to lie to you. Uh, I'll check the straw. Nope, nothing in that one. Check this one. Again, nothing in that one. And we're getting hungry. Our bellies are rumbling. Uh, we'll go down first before we go up. Look for a box first. Pretty clear. Got a few bits of food. Just eat the carrot in the dark. Helps us see in the dark, does eating a lot of carrots. That old, uh, that old chestnut. So we'll find ourselves going up and hopefully we'll get something good out of this building. <gasps> Just another crate and a straw. Dual component kits. Happy days. We're loving that. We're looking good on component kits now. I'm kind of liking this. Nighttime searching gives us a lot of component kits, which is awesome. Never had this much kind of component kit look. Another crate up there. I can just see that shining in the distance. Ooh. Ooh. It's a special one. What are we reckoning? Suspension or bearing? I think it's going to get a bearing. <gasps> oh. It's an epic garment box. That's cool. Now that is cool. Right. So we'll just hurl ourselves down here somewhere. I mean, we won't literally hurl ourselves down. That would have been a bit crazy. Go back to base. We've got a few goodies, actually, that are potentially going to help us with uh, automation for the watering. So that's cool. Ah! <laughs> that was a mistake, but we were lucky. Right, so I'll just hightail it back to base. We'll get inside. We'll sort a few things out. And we'll see what we're doing next. So whilst we've got a little bit of light, I think because we've got quite a few component kits, I'm going to upgrade the craft bot so that we can add two more sort of layers in. It makes a little bit of sense. It makes quite a lot of sense, actually. Just to enable us to do some extra crafting, which is awesome. So let's get a cannon first. Then we can do sensor. And then we can do piston. And this, this will sort of have our water system automatic. I need another button, I don't know, or a switch. I need another switch, if I do a switch. So we're gonna be looking at putting it in a line as long as our piston can extend that far. That's a good question. So how far can a basic piston extend? Will it be able to get us to where we need to go? Don't really know. So if I come this way by nine, That'll help us at least get a line. And we'll be able to water some. I don't know how many we'll water. And I'm thinking, actually, if I can land the water cannon in the middle of two plots, we might, if we're lucky, we might be able to water two at the same time. So obviously I need the switch for the piston, the sensor for the water cannon. That's what that's all about. Top tip, you don't need to run a load of pipe work from your water to supply, which is a little bit confusing. Where's this going to put us? It's going to put us here. So if I can run, hmm. so ideally, I want to be able to put the water cannon here. What is this? Oh, it's got a limit of seven. Where's that going to get us to? Uh, we need the block on top, of course we do. That's not seven. There we go. Oh, that's really not very far at all. Okay. How does that look? In theory, it's down the middle. If we put that there, gather that up, click that out. And if we also just quickly, it'll get both of them. That's cool. Sort of. I won't get the first set. I need to move that across a bit more if I can. There's an easier way to do this. Let's line it up with a block. Let's 
still think that's only going to get one, though. So that's the activation line. That's the line to trigger it all. So if you go... Boop, and then if we go... Boop, don't know how well this will work because obviously it's not going to reach very far. It's only two to fully extend. Uh, only two... Helps if we hook that up. Oh, it only gets us one. The first one gets us two, but the second one gets us one. Ah, oh, that's appalling. That's appalling. That's so bad. I think I can move that forwards one more, actually. Piston to the switch. Turn the piston up. Oh, now we step back. I can get three. I will go upgrade the piston. So I need two component kits to upgrade it. I think that only buys me two extra lamps though, doesn't it? Which is not cool. Ah, uh, now we're too steep. Okay, so here's the deal. I just shuffled things around and moved them across. I've upgraded the piston twice. That will get us up to 11. So we'll just run this out a bit more. See where we get to. It might work. It might not work. But this is unfortunately where we are right now. Interesting. What happens if we take them out? Ooh, one more length and we might be able to do it. Okay, cool. Right, so yeah, I do seven. The rest are going to do manually for now. Not ideal, but you know, it's it's halfway there, I guess. It's it's a work in progress. Ultimately, like I say, we've all got to start somewhere. And until we start going in and throwing the big dogs around and getting all sorts of uh, contraptions and stuff, I'm afraid that this is going to be it for now. At least we've got the water system up and running, but there's a lot of room for expansion. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye for now. Ciao.